Jackie, wanna play? Uh, no way. Come to Freddy. Damn it. Where? Give me my bunch of gold. Shit. Who's masking my water? Oh, yeah. Do you like scary movies? Yeah. <sighs> oh, fuck that damn mask, man. I couldn't breathe. I fucking... I got the voices down, though. Um, and I didn't use a voice changer, by the way. Damn. It, it, it fuck... It's almost impossible to fucking, you know, do impressions wearing that fucking thing because there's hardly any air in it. It's, you know, it's basically all masks. Like, there's hardly any air holes. It's just, it's just stupid. Anyways, um, now that that's out of the way, uh, I just want to, uh, uh, you know, talk about my Halloween experiences. See, the reason why I'm doing this is because I love Halloween. I've always loved Halloween ever since I was a little kid but the thing is when I was little I could never do anything I wanted I could never dress the way I wanted I could never you know I couldn't do anything because my biological mom would always dress me up in something I didn't want to be dressed up in like one year um, one year when I was like real real little she dressed me up as a as a biker chick and I didn't want to do that but whatever um, and uh, another year another year she dressed me up like a clown and I wanted to go as Robin um, a lot of people are probably like hey, well, why didn't you want to go as Batman or that, whatever you know I wanted to be Robin so what uh, but I ended up being a fucking clown, and, uh, you know, I didn't want to be a clown, you know, uh, it, it was basically, you know, her way of trying to be in, uh, me and my brother's lives, because we were adopted at a young age, we were taken in by our grandparents, but, uh, you know, we had, I had, uh, quite a few Halloween experiences, actually. Quite a bit. Uh, I had this, um, I had this guardian. Uh, I had this guardian that, uh, would always take care of me when my, uh, adopted mom wasn't feeling well. And she, um, you know, my grandma, uh, uh, my, uh, this guardian would always um, would always take care of me when my uh, grandma or um, you know adopted mom uh, couldn't. So uh, you know she was she was pretty much there for me, and uh, we had fun together. And uh, you know we had some we had like some Halloween moments. I remember this uh, one time I was um, I was with uh, two friends who uh, we had a uh, you know we drifted apart later in life uh, because uh, my guardian you know had to move away and uh, my only link my only link to those two friends were that they lived near the guardian that took care of me. So I didn't really get the I didn't really get to see them much after that after you know sh you know after my guardian moved away so uh um I'm going to share this experience you see my um my two friends uh we were in this cornfield and for some reason they wanted to scare me so they popped out of nowhere and all this and you know it's just I really 
you know, I was I was little at the time, and uh, it bugged me. But you know, we were friends, and uh, you know, uh, but uh, you know, I had uh, the thing I like most about Halloween uh, nowadays is that is the Halloween specials. Uh, watching the Halloween specials and eating the candy and all that. Uh, I love those, you know, I love watching the Halloween specials. And I'm going to react to some Halloween specials. Uh, you know, Jeff Dunham finally has a new stand-up uh, show coming out. And it's a Halloween special. Uh, because he had a whole week, he had like a Christmas special a while ago, uh, a while back actually, um, way back, not too far back, but uh, you get the point. He had a Christmas special. Now he's having a whole week special, so I'm gonna react to that. And Simpsons Treehouse of Horror, I love that. I love those. Like I, I love those Halloween specials, the Simpsons Treehouse of Horrors. They're kind of bland nowadays, but uh, they used to be good. Um, I just I just enjoyed it, a lot of them, and uh, I, I'm gonna do a reaction to that and all that. I just love Halloween, and if you know, if there was a Halloween party I could go to, I would love to go to that, but. I don't know anyone that throws Halloween parties, and I wouldn't know where to find one. And you know, I'm I'm so, you know, I live off of a check. Uh, I live off of a check. Um, I know I shouldn't be saying that, but you know, I like to tell the truth. I don't like you know, acting like this big shot here on YouTube. I like telling the truth, but you know, I live off of a check. I get like. 270 a month uh you know that's that is after I pay my fees and all that cause I got quite a few fees I need to pay, pay each month and uh I have to do that and so I get like 270 a month I don't have enough money or time to be buying costumes and I I'm not, I'm not a uh, craftsman or, you know, I, I don't know how to sew or knit, so I couldn't make my own costumes. So I'm really in a pickle here. I'm just going to stay in, though. Uh, so um, I hope you enjoyed those uh, little stories, you know, and, uh, you know, I hope... I hope you enjoyed this video when it gets uploaded and the voices that I just did even though it took like I don't know three or four takes once again I like to be honest it took like three or four takes because this this mask right here this mask right here it's very hard to breathe in you know, and it's very hard to do impressions when you're struggling to breathe. So, yeah. Uh, so, I am Mike Wayne, a.k.a. Rebel 180. Uh, please rate, uh, comment, and if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please do that. So long for now.